Hey YouTube, it's Liv on Queen here. Just want to get in here today and I wanted to do a quick Dollar Tree haul with you guys. I mainly went and got beauty products today. I did get a few things for the house, but it wasn't nothing that's anything new. So I wanted to get in here and I just wanted to feature the beauty products. Um, I picked up some good ones, I think. I'm going to um, try them out and let you guys know. Um, the first thing that I picked up from Dollar Tree is the Sassy and Chic Eye Makeup Remover. It's for washable eye makeup. It says oil-free, fragrance-free, and safe for sensitive eyes. So I'm excited for this. I can't wait to try it out. It says it's compared to the Maybelline Expert Eyes. I've never tried the Maybelline um, Expert Eyes uh, remover before, but I am curious to see if it is uh, a dupe for it, maybe. Um, it says the Sassy and Chic Oil-Free Eye Makeup Remover helps eye makeup and non-proof non-waterproof mascara be removed effectively without leaving behind any oily residue. So I am excited to try this out and I thought this was really a really good buy. And there is an expiration date on the back, um, December 2017. So I thought that was really neat that it's actually on the package. I know it would probably be on the bottle, but I thought it was cool that it's actually on the package itself. So um, I was excited for that. I can't wait to try it out. And then I picked up a Wet n Wild mascara. I've seen people uh, haul on this. It's a Mega Wear. It's in very black. It says full healthy lashes. And it's got a soy protein enriched uh, uh, protein in it, I guess. And it's supposed to give you clean definition to your lashes and um, enhance and define. So I'm excited for this. It's got the the soy, it's got uh, pro-vitamin B5 in it and soy protein. So, I'm excited for that. I can't wait to try it out. And then, I picked up a, uh, a Sassy and Chic foundation. I'm actually really curious about this because a couple weeks ago, I went to Five Below and I picked up the Wet n Wild Coverall uh, foundation. And I was really curious because I started looking at the package and I was like, oh my god, this is like an exact replica of what I've already bought. Except it's a little bit bigger of a container. So, I wanted to see if anyone else has like tried to like see if this is a dupe for it or not. I don't know how well their foundation is. I've never tried the Sassy and Chic foundation. So, I'm getting ready to try it with you guys. Um, like on my hand. This is a Sassy and Chic Moisturizing Foundation in medium. I figured that was closest to the color that I am. I don't know. I've never tried it before, so we're going to find out. All right, so you see the package in this is Sassy and Chic um, foundation here, makeup foundation. And then a couple weeks ago, I went to Five Below, and I picked up the Wet n Wild Coverall. Now, doesn't that look like a dupe to you guys? Like, it looks the exact same packaging pretty much, except this one's just a little bit bigger. So, I was a little curious. I wonder if the consistency is the same. So, I wanted to get on here and I wanted to do like a kind of a comparison for you guys. So, this is the Wet n Wild foundation that I picked up from Five Below. And, uh, this is what it looks like. I haven't blended it in, but that's what it looks like on your skin. It gives a really good, nice coverage, and I really do love the way it feels on my skin. I'm, like, a huge fan of that. And, um, beside it, I'm going to swatch this Sassy and Chic foundation and see if it's any kind of, like, a dupe at all. I'm just really curious. So, it looks like this. And it's, like I said before, it's very comparable to that same packaging. So, I'm very curious on this one. So, let's go ahead and just do a... Okay, it comes out like this. It's a little, a little bit watery than the other. But when it applies, it feels the exact same consistency. That's kind of wild. It's not the same shade. But it's nothing I can't work with. I mean, it's a little bit different. One's a little darker. But um, but that's okay. I can work with it. Um, I wonder if... And that's what it looks like. So this right here is the Wet n Wild. And this is the uh, Sassy and Chic Dollar Tree uh, brand. But feeling both of them. I mean, overall, the Wet n Wild is a better consistency, I feel. But the Sassy and Chic's not bad. Like, it does feel a little bit of a wetter formula, but... It blends in just really good on your skin. So I've blended both of them in. 
And uh, I don't know. Like, I'm actually excited for this. I can't wait to like actually do like a look with it and uh, see how well it does on my skin. But I just wanted to do like a quick comparison with that because I've been curious about that since I saw it. I was like, oh my gosh, that looks so familiar to like my Wet n Wild. So evidently these two are supposed to be kind of like a dupe. I'm just guessing. Um, if any of y'all ever been curious about that, let me know down below. But I thought that was pretty cool that uh, Dollar Tree had this brand. And um, obviously this is the Greenbrier International, you know, like they distribute and everything and it's sassy and chic brand and this is the mark ones uh wet and wild so it's there is different companies but it's it's kind of weird how they're both very similar so i just want to get here and share that and then um i did pick up one of the bolero hand creams the hand repair creams they have just recently been putting out this is one i didn't have it's the almond milk and honey this is a really nice uh hand cream it's not as watered down as the ones I had reviewed the other week from Dollar Tree, but um, this one doesn't have an almond scent to me. It smells more like the milk and honey. It doesn't really have an almond scent. So um, I do love it, and it does make my skin feel super, super soft on my hands. Like I've been trying it out. And um, there's no artificial dyes or parabens, and it's cruelty free. So that's really nice, and um, I'm excited for that. So I was happy to get that. And the last thing on this Dollar Tree haul that I picked up, I wanted to do some swatches of this and see if it's worth, if it's a deal or it's a dud. This is a Color Mates um, eyeshadow palette, and it's a rich and smooth, natural look, long wearing, and blends easy. And it's in Island Oasis. And I don't know if I told you, but it is paraben free. Um, so I'm, I'm very curious to see if uh, these shadows are worth a dollar or if they're worth more so let's see you have you have 12 shadows in this and it's you know just a real thin packaging but um, you do have some pretty shadows in there and I'm going to swatch them with primer and without primer so because I have my primer ready I'm using my uh, Elizabeth Mott uh, thank me later eyeshadow primer I'm about out of it but I really love this stuff so Okay, let's get on into this. So you have 12 beautiful shadows. And I'm curious to see if they're chalky or dry or if they're just really, you know, very pigmented or not. I'm just curious because I've never tried this before. So um, I'm going to swatch. I'm going to swatch them without primer first. Just to see how they look. They are just a little bit chalky, like kind of like they leave a little bit of a flake to them, but they are very pigmented. So that's without primer. <sighs> Stuff's hard to get off your hand. All right, and let's try it with the primer. So I put a little bit of primer on my hand here, and I'm going to swatch them colors again. Oh yeah, primer, primer always makes a difference. So there's the colors with primer. So it makes a big difference. They they look a lot nicer um, with primer. So let's try some different colors out of this palette. I'm trying to wipe my hand off. I got... Okay, we're gonna try to do some of these darker colors. So there's the swatch without primer of the three smoky colors. And there is more smoke. Well, they they go into lighter, but they are smoky. So let's put some primer on. So I got some primer on my hand now. And see what a difference that makes with the primer. Like already, like they just glide right on with the primer on. Let me grab some of my eye makeup removers. That'll help me do swatches better. 
I always use the Alme eye makeup removers. They really work really well, especially if you're doing swatches too. So let me use that to get rid of the swatches a little bit. Okay, so without primer, we're going to do the next three. That's them. So that's without primer, the next three shades. They're like a dark uh, gray, a silver, and a white. Now we'll do the sh same shades with a primer. Alright, so I applied primer, which you really can't tell, but you'll be able to in a second. So those are really, really pretty. I'm actually really enjoying like uh, these shadows because they glide right on. When you is, when you actually apply a primer to them, they just glide right on. Okay, so the last three shades in this beautiful palette are these ones that I just I think are going to be my absolute favorite out of this because I just love the way they look. This is without a primer, and those are very pigmented without primer. Look at those. That's gorgeous. Let's do it with a primer now. Let me get this swatch off real quick. Okay. So let's go ahead and apply primer for my last swatches. So I've got my primer on. Let's do these last three swatches. And look how pigmented that is. They're so gorgeous. And that's with primer. I mean, either way, they're pigmented. to that right there. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I love these shades. So this was definitely a good buy, I think, from Dollar Tree. It was definitely a deal and not a dud. Um, I will definitely um, keep my eye out for any more palettes that Color Mates comes out with. Because those are just gorgeous. I mean, they are a little chalky, but if you use a primer, which I've been using my Elizabeth Mott primer, if you use a primer, they glide right on. So, I'm excited for this. This is a really good palette for only a dollar um, at Dollar Tree. And I haven't seen these until just um, today. I picked it up and I was like, you know what? I need to do a review on that and swatches. So, if you're curious about this, is this a good palette? It is a little chalky, but if you use a primer um, before you apply them, you shouldn't have that problem. So, I'm excited for this. And this will probably definitely be in my palette of the week coming up. I definitely want to do like a week's worth of like eye looks with them. So... I just want to get on here and I want to do a quick Dollar Tree haul and slash beauty, I don't know, reviews too um, for you guys. So I will talk to you guys next time. I hope you have a blessed day. Thanks. Bye.